Welcome to the television ministry of Souls Harbor Tabernacle. We are located in the shadow of beautiful Crowder's Mountain, 271 Camp Rotary Road, Gastonia, North Carolina. Now be blessed by the anointed ministry of Pastor James Chambers and Church. Well, praise the Lord. It's so good to be with you tonight. We appreciate you tuning in to the broadcast tonight. This is Pastor Chambers from Souls Harbor Tabernacle in Gastonia. And we're excited about coming into your home or business or wherever you might be tonight. We just appreciate you listening to us tonight. I want to invite you to be with us at church in the morning. Service starts at 11 o'clock. Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Betty and I love to see you at any of our services and we would make you most welcome and I promise you you'll hear the word preached in the service. Also have a wonderful church over in Dallas. Brother Eric Quinn, his wife Arlene labor for the Lord there. They have Sunday school in the morning at 9.30, preaching at 10.30, and their worship tomorrow night is at 6, and then they have midweek service on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. If you go up above Shelby, you'll find another great Souls Harbor Church. My brother Chuck Poole and his wife Joyce labor for the Lord there at Mooresboro, and we appreciate them so much. Their service in the morning is at 11 o'clock, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, and they're Midweek service for the present time has been uh, canceled. And uh, we'd love to see you at any of those churches, any of our churches. Amen. And we appreciate God so much for what he's doing. Call that number on the screen. Donnie's by the phone to take your call. And I dedicate this to all three churches, to the pastors, to my children, to my grandchildren, and uh, to my great-grandchild. Amen. Uh, I feel like God laid this song on my heart. Listen to the words of this song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, there's a city of God where there come up no night for the sun never sets in the sky. But in the Bible we are told That in the streets are pure gold And a cool gentle river runs by I'm bound for that city God's holy white city Oh yes I am I'll never turn back into this old world anymore, anymore. No matter how rough may be the way, no matter how all I stop to pray, I'm bound with that city on that evergreen shore. Well, little children will play And their hearts will be so gay As we stroll through that city of gold No more dying up there And no more sorrow to bear and nobody will be feeble and old. I'm bound with that city, God's holy white city. Oh, yes, I am. I'll never turn back into this old world anymore. No more. No matter how rough may be the way, no matter how old I stop to pray, I'm bound for that city on that evergreen shore. Turn that part around there. No matter how hard may be the way, no matter how old I stop to pray, I'm bound for that city on that evergreen shore. 
praise the Lord. I am truly bound for that city uh, like I've never been before in my life. I mean to make it. My mother used to have a, a sweet, simple testimony she'd give in my daddy's little storefront church. She wouldn't say but a few words. She'd thank God for everything he'd give her that she could think of. And then she'd say, pray for me that I can see the end of a Christian life. And I got my mother's testimony. I want to see the end of this life. And I want it to end well. And no matter what the devil does to beset this way with us. Amen. Uh, I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about something that I hope I never have to talk to you about. Next week, the 25th of March, will be our last broadcast. Uh, they have sold this TV station, and there's not anything we can do about that. I thank God for the souls that he saved. I thank him for those that he's healed and touched and delivered. There's been times when we had as many as three souls saved in one service, and we thank God for that, and we thank God for all the help we've had along the way. The present help that we have is myself and Betty and Donnie, and we appreciate all those in the past that has helped. And I call the names. It would be too many to name. And I'd forget somebody hurt somebody's feeling. So I'm just going to say thank you for everything you've done to help us make this program a success. Amen. We thank you for all your prayers. We thank you for every love gift you've ever given us that has kept this ministry going for 21 years since 2002. We've never taken anything out of this ministry. We've always used it to pay for the ministry. Sometimes other people would come, and even for us, we'd pay gas or supplies, but we've never taken any salary or anything out of this, but God has been faithful through people just like you to help us pay all the bills. We're attempting and making uh, several attempts to get another TV station. I'm not sure that's going to work out. If it does, then maybe we'll know before next week and we can announce that, but if not, and we do accomplish this to everybody that's on our mailing list, we will mail you uh, a, a letter and let you know when it's going to be and where it's going to be. If you're not on our mailing list and you'd like to be, you could write us next week and, and uh, we would get your name and your mailing list added to our mailing list. Amen. Uh, we'll continue to stream our services live at our church and uh, on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. And you can see them all on Facebook. You can watch it live at the regular times that I announced tonight. Just go on Souls Harbor Tabernacle of Gastonia, 271 Camp Rotary Road, 2852, and you can keep up with, uh, with Brother Donnie as well. A lot of you like him, and he watches that closely, so if you'd like to uh, text him, you could do that on there. Amen. And uh, we will keep you in our prayers, and we pray that you keep us in your prayers. Betty and I hate that it come to this. We, we've been working for the Lord a long time at this, and we just pray that you'll pray for us, and hopefully another door will open. I've always felt like when God allows one door to close, that he has another one to open. Write us, pray for us. We'd love to hear from you. Worship with Sister Chambers. She sings. Call that number on the screen. Yesterday's marvel too soon becomes 
today's mundane. But the world's greatest story, redemption glory, can never be common or plain. All is the joy come lately, then by her so greatly, every new will that brings a new thrill. There's no color the fair can match what happened up there. I will never be over the hill. I'll never be over the hill. Never be over Calvary. It was there since power over me was taken away. Oh, happy day overcome by the blood of the Lamb. I'm saved. number on the screen. Keep dialing it, Brother Donnie. We'll get back to you. If you leave him a message, if it's a number that he can call you back on, he will do that. Amen. And uh, he would love to talk to you tonight. We'd love to pray over your needs tonight, whatever they might be. Call those in tonight. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, would like to turn with us. We'd be reading tonight from uh, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1 through 7. Very familiar story. It says, And the sons of the prophets said unto Elijah, Behold, now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us, or too little for us. Let us go, we pray thee, into Jordan, and take thence a man at a beam, and uh, let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was barred. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down a stick and cast it thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to thee, and put out, he put out his hand, and he took it. I, I just want to preach to you for a little bit tonight on the subject when it is out of our sight, it's not out of his. Amen. When you don't know what to do, he does. Father, pray tonight that you take this scripture, use it for your glory, Lord. God, and help us tonight to do what you'd have us to do tonight in this message. And we sure will thank you for it. And I love you tonight. And I praise your name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, you may be seated. Amen. Uh, when Mary and Martha were crying to Jesus over their brother, uh, had, they had lost to death. He said unto them, show me where you've laid him. I believe God spoke to me today that we should show him where we lost whatever our heart is hurting over tonight. It might be a relationship, even with your children or your wife or your husband, and your heart broken, but God can mend broken hearts tonight. And uh, if we will pick up the broken pieces and lay them at Jesus' feet, he will put them back together again. I believe he promises to do that. The God of miracles is looking for us to bring our hopeless situations to him. I believe that with all my heart. If you could fix it, you would have already fixed it. And uh, the axe head was a hopeless case. When it went into the water, they could not see it. It was a hopeless case because if they could afford, have afforded to buy one, they would have bought one, but they couldn't. Now they're going to have to pay for this one, and I don't believe they were through with it. I believe they were still using it. So it would have hindered the work of the Lord if they hadn't have found it, and it would have cost them money they probably didn't have to go buy another one. Amen. And uh, so it was a hopeless case. When it went down under the water, no doubt for just a little bit, in muddy water you can see something going down just for a little bit. If it's clear water, they could have seen it going way out of sight. 
And either way, it was a hopeless case. I feel like there's a lot of things going on in the world today that's hopeless. We don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it. And if you do, you got more answers than I have tonight. To make it worse for them, it wasn't theirs. Like I said, it was barred. And if they didn't find it, they would have to pay for it. I didn't know where it was. They didn't know where it was. It was covered with water. And they could not see it. Amen. Somebody hear me. Amen. Sometimes what we're looking for is just out of sight. Amen. Some more under the murk and mar of this life. Our blessings have just slipped away from us seemingly. And God wants to give them back to us tonight. I believe that with all my heart. Uh, if you look at this story, they weren't building a club uh, or a place for them to have as a retreat. They were building a building for the ministry. Amen. I've had the devil fight me so many times in my life when I know with all of my heart what I was doing at the time was something for the Lord. Amen. Car wreck on the way to the hospital. One example. And I've heard and seen the devil come against me many times. And there's been many times that I've faced hopeless situations. I didn't know if they'd ever get any better or not. And I still do. And I still don't know if they'll ever get any better. Amen. But when you're working for the Lord, the devil will come against you with everything he can come against you with. When it comes to this TV ministry that's fading away, one more service after this one. If you didn't hear the announcement, the station's been sold and uh, next week will be our last week on this TV station. Uh, when it comes to this TV ministry, it seems as far gone as the axe head was to them, to me. Amen. It just seems like it's out of sight. There ain't nothing I can do about it. It just slipped through my hand. And if I could have done something about it, you'd have never heard me tell you what was going on tonight, amen? There wasn't anything I could do about it. All I know to do is to take God to where I lost, what I lost. That God, I was working up until uh, March the 25th. We were in the ministry for you. Hadn't quite made 21 years, but we was almost there, Lord. And if you'd have, if the station had stayed, we probably would have stayed. But it didn't, and now I don't know what to do. I mean, many times we get to that place in our life. Nobody would have given you anything for this accent that was gone in our TV ministries in the past. Amen. I know God's got a record. I know he'll reward me and Donnie and Betty and all those that work in it from time to time. But those that were faithful to it for years that have gone on, like Brother Jimmy Easton. And I believe that uh, God will bless us because of what we've done. And I believe the reward will be in heaven where Jimmy's already gone to get his. But, uh, you know, nobody would give you nothing for what's in the past. God wants something in the present. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we're going to keep working at the church. We're going to keep on plowing the field. We're going to keep on doing everything I know to do for God. And if God will give me more, then I'm going to do more. Amen. If not, I'll be content in the state wherein I'm found. Amen. It's, it's the only axe head that I know that could ever Swim. I said that for a reason. When God comes to your situation, it will be better than anything you've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. When God puts it back together, all I can tell you is it'll be put together right. Somebody hear me tonight. God wants to do that for you tonight. I feel like God spoke to me to tell somebody it will be better than before. Amen. I, I feel like I come to tell you tonight when it's out of our sight, it's not out of God's sight. We can't see it, but He can. That's why He told us to call those things that are not as though they were, because we can't see them, but God can. We don't know where, where they're at. I don't know where a TV station's at uh, right this moment at the time of this taping that we can go on, and I don't know of one that would take this ministry, but I can tell you if there is one, I'm going to try to find it. But I can tell you tonight that that, that, that God knows if there's one out there tonight. And he knows where it's at. And he has a way of bringing things together at the right time, at the right place. Amen. Mary and Martha had to show God where they had left their problem, where they had went as far as they could go with their brother. We've heard it said many times, and I may have said it myself, at some funerals at grave sites, you've come as far as you can go with this loved one. Amen. In this life. 
But uh, it's not as far as God can go. Amen. Amen. It looks like that sometimes the ministry that we have, you know, in this case, the TV ministry, like we've gone as far with it as we can go. And it's been a wonderful run. Betty and I have enjoyed teaching and singing to the people and letting them know Jesus through us and come to tell them the good news of this saving God that we serve. Amen. And, and I hope that it won't end here, but if it does, I'm okay with that. I'll go on and work for the Lord and wherever the field, I can find a field to work in. Somebody hear me tonight, and namely the church. Amen. But you need to know when whatever you're worrying over, whatever you're praying over, it's out of your sight. It's not out of God's sight. Amen. God sees the enemy where he's at. If he's a long way from you or if he's just about to knock on your door, God sees that. Amen. And he's ready for him. Amen. We're not ready for the enemy and the attack that he comes against us with, but I believe God is. Amen. I believe God is more than able to fight all of our battles, whatever they be. If it's a battle of sickness, I have other battles in my life going on right now, such as sickness and different things, but I give it all to Jesus. Amen. I give it all to him. Amen. Because I've learned that through it all, I've learned to trust him and learn to believe that what I needed yesterday you supplied, what I need today you'll supply. Amen. One songwriter said, in every need supply. He will supply every need in our life. Uh, you know, a lot of times money wouldn't help me. I mean, if you had money to give me tonight, it wouldn't help the situations I got tonight most of the time. But there have been times that money would help. Amen. And God's always been whatever I need when I need it. Amen. If I've needed money, he's had it there for me. Amen. If I needed a word, a kind word, he had somebody give that to me. If I needed strength, he had all of that I needed. Amen. I just can't go deep enough into that tonight to tell you that whatever you need, God has it tonight. And if you took it so far and you can't take it no further, it's time you wake up the master. When they'd done what they could to steady the ship and bring it to land, then they couldn't. The songwriter said it was time to wake up the master. And they did that. He said, cares not that we perish. We've told all night. And we prayed and we fought. And we're about to go under. And he came on the scene. Amen. That's the way it'll be in your life. He will come on the scene. Just when it looks like there's no hope left. Just when it looks like you spent your last dime. When it looks like you've said your last prayer. When you've drove the car as far as it'll go and it's fell apart. When you don't even have a place to live. Whatever the case might be, God has been there for you. Have you not heard and have you not known that the God of all heaven and earth will come to your aid tonight? I believe he will. Amen. Whatever you need. If you're praying with Donnie right now, as quick as I get those requests, I'll pray over them again. And I'll believe God to touch your need tonight, whatever it is, and to go where you can. And if it's covered up by a sea of doubt or unbelief or uh, whatever it might be covered up with and you can't see it, when I cannot find the way, I know that you know the way, Lord. He leads me. He leads his dear children along. Amen. Through some through the water and some through the flood, some through the fire, but all by the blood. Amen. He does that for you and me tonight. And I believe that he's ready. I just believe he's on the ready or in the ready mode tonight if there be such a thing to meet your need. He's waiting for your call. Some preachers say, I'm waiting for your call. God is waiting for your call. And he can do more than this preacher or any other preacher can do for you tonight. You call me, I'll pray for you. If there's something I can give you to help you, I will. But I'm telling you, I'm limited. And there'll be time when I'll have to look at you and say, I don't have any more money. I can't do anything else. I can't reach you. I can't go there. But God's arm is not short. Amen. His ear is open uh, to our cry tonight. His ear is not deaf. It's open to our cry. His eyes are open to his righteous people. And he sees you. And as I said, his ears are open to your cry. He's waiting for you to call on him. Amen. I told the church Sunday that it's kind of like the father was waiting for the prodigal son to call him. God's waiting for you to call him tonight. 
He's waiting. He said, well, I dialed the number. I couldn't get an answer. Call again. Try again. But if you don't get an answer, you will with him. Amen. You just say God. And he'll say son or child. And he'll minister to you as whatever you need tonight. I tell you, I believe we serve a miracle God. I believe we serve an unlimited God that, that can do all things above and beyond what you even ask or think according to the power that works in us. He's just asking us to call on him tonight. He's asking us to, 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 to let him see us through. Amen. Let him come into our vessel. Amen. Let him get on our ship. Or better still, us get on his ship. It never will. The old ship of Zion never will go down. You, you ride with God and you'll land safely in heaven someday. You let him ride with you. And the waves of life won't take you out too far that he can't find you. And whatever you got that's precious to you, it can't go down so far in the depths of the sea that he don't know where it's at. And he can bring it back to you. Well, how can he get it back out of the sea? All I can tell you is when the iron axe head fell in the water, it swam to the top of the water. I've heard preachers preach that axe head just floated right to the top. I didn't want to say that. The Bible says iron did swim. Amen. I don't know what an axe looked like swimming. Maybe we can find out when we get to heaven. Amen. If God don't allow us to have it down here. But I can tell you, your need's like that tonight. God can bring it to you. These preachers preach on the TV and say, speak money, come to me, and all that stuff. If God wants it to come to you, he can bring it to you tonight. He can give it to you. He can get somebody to bring it and put it in your hands to help you. But if you're facing a, 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 a problem tonight, a situation that looks like there's no hope, just call on God. He is the God of all hope tonight. If you'll put your hope and trust in him, he'll see you through. I believe that with all of my heart. Amen. Amen. I'll say it one more time. I've come to tell somebody tonight. Amen. When it's out of your sight, it's not out of God's. God sees your need. He sees you afar off, and he sees your need afar off, and he has the power to bring it to you. Amen. And I believe that with all my heart. It's been so good to be here tonight to preach the word of God. We've got about a minute left or a little more. I just want to tell you how much again, I love you, I appreciate you, everything you've ever given, but more than anything, I appreciate your prayer. If you listen tonight and you can say, Preacher, I prayed for TV ministry, I prayed for Souls Heart for TV ministry, then I thank you tonight, right? Personally, I thank you tonight for praying for us. If you ever give a nickel to it, I appreciate that too, any amount you've ever gave. God bless you. We'll be back on one more week. A week from tonight, be faithful to listen. Be our last broadcast unless God changes something that we're not aware of. Amen. Father, bless the people tonight. Heal those that have called for prayer tonight. Meet the needs and be uh, to these people what I said you could be. If the problem's out of their sight, God, it's not out of yours. And I claim healing and deliverance for everyone that called in and needs it tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be with us in church in the morning. We'd be so glad to have you. Service starts at 11 o'clock. I don't believe we'll be disappointed if you want to hear the word. Amen. God bless you. Good night. Thank you for joining us on the telecast. Pastor Chambers, wife Betty, and entire congregation welcome you to any of our exciting services. Morning worship at 11 a.m. Sunday evening, 6 p.m. and Wednesday at 7. Tune in next time.